Let us go on to Path of Exile 2 News. The Mercenary Showcase. This was like 10 months ago, and I just never saw it. Uh, so let's see it. Let's see it. Because we've covered the Druid, we've covered the Witch. We've not covered the rest of this. Be it. Let's do it. There's not a job out there I won't take. Okay. So long as the pay's good and a crossbow can solve it. I agree. Okay. Ooh. So, like, a little, like, backwards shot? I like that you can strafe with this. This is pretty cool. I think this might be the mechanic for the mercenary here. Unironic huge W. And it looks like you just have a machine gun. I'll take them all down, one bolt at a time. One bolt at a time. When thinking about each new class, okay. we really try to think about how we can make combat feel different from all the others. For the mercenary, that difference is... Man. If, if only there was a little-known game called Diablo 4 that thought this way. Is the crossbow. A crossbow is fundamentally only... different than a regular bow because it fires instantly instead of needing to be drawn back. Also, I really like this because basically what they're doing is each skill on the crossbow is, is kind of just like a different type of gun. Like, the normal crossbow is like your rifle or your pistol. And then, like, this type of ability that the crossbow the mercenary is using right here is literally a shotgun. It has, like, an arc and everything. It does, like, a big chunk of damage, lots of AoE. And then, like, the uh, in the earlier part of the video, it's basically like a machine gun. You know, I like what they did here. This means that you need immediate feedback. Clicking yes. the fire button should make the character shoot instantly. True. Just like in a shooter. As soon as we experience that, we realize that there are a lot of design lessons to learn from shooters. And so we fully... So we basically made this character into a shooter. Man, I love the Path of Exile development team. I really do. I really do. This is so silly. I love it. Brace them. In Path of Exile 2, we have yeah. crossbows that work like sniper rifles. <laughs> what did I just say? Shotguns. What did I just say? And assault rifles. Oh my god. I did not see this video before, by the way, guys. I, this is my first time watching the video. It's just intuitive, though. One thing about Path of Exile, a lot of it is very intuitive. It's just a gun! But in order to really get shooter-like gameplay, we wanted to go further. In Path of Exile 2, we now support WASD movement. You can As an American, the fact that I can strafe while shooting a gun in a medieval high fantasy, you know, RPG, RPG, is only a good thing. As an American, I believe Now this. walk around in any direction, independent of aiming. In fact, if this is your preferred method of gameplay, this is really you cool. can use it on any class, regardless of what weapon type you're using. People have been asking for wasty movement for a while. They call it wasty movement. Uh, and um, I actually don't really like wasty movement, but the fact that I can do it for this class would make a lot of sense, and, and I will be using it for this class, if I don't use it for other ones. You can change between click to move or WASD at any time. Yeah. This is really cool. You can only hold two crossbows at a time, but Path of Exile 2 is all about interesting combinations of abilities. And this is where ammo skills come in. This is a burst shot crossbow. And right now, I have armor piercing ammo equipped, which yeah. makes it very effective when facing a group of enemies. So yeah, Monty, they were, they were like, let's make it kind of like a gun, and they decided to go all in and just make it up into straight up different types of guns. Exactly, Monty. And welcome, Monty. How are you doing tonight? It pierces right through them. Bloody horrors! Bloody horrors! Also, I li they should have made the guy American. Like, the only thing that would make this better is if the mercenary wasn't, like, a southern Londoner. Uh, and instead, he was, like, literally an American. Like, a fucking cowboy. Like, yeehaw, man! Yeehaw! Gotta, gotta, gotta kill that dog in. <laughs> Just, like, shit like that. That would be hilarious. That would have been icing on the cake. There are other but ammos too. For good. a bigger single target, it might be a good idea to switch to incendiary. The fire, more projectiles fire good. the target, the stronger the ignite. Yeah. So you'll want to get up nice, close and personal with this one. If you have a bunch of targets running at you, you might Shotgun. want to slow them down. 
In this case, you can oh. switch to permafrost burst shot. Ooh. Shooting a bunch of smaller enemies at range. Ooh, and it freezes them. them. And potentially even freeze them in place. Oh, that's cool. Okay. An ice shotgun. Once you have some frozen enemies, though, you can switch back to armor piercing. Shooting a frozen enemy with armor piercing burst shot Shatters. will explode the ice, doing a huge <laughs> amount of damage that's to cool. all nearby enemies. That's cool. Okay. I, I, I like the combinations already. One of my favorite parts of Last Epoch is the combinations. So the fact that this adds combinations, they, they learned well. I'm very happy about this, guys. I am very happy about this. I think this is really cool. Another feature crossbows have is attachments. This is a grenade launcher. As you can see, when I equip it, it appears on the underside of the crossbow. These attachments are just like skill gems, so you effectively get extra skill slots. And you can augment these with support gems, just like regular skills. Okay, you need to know something about me, chat. When I play ARPGs, I don't play range classes. I don't like them. I genuinely just don't play range classes. So the fact that this is making me want to play what amounts to a, a Gungeoneer... <laughs> is, is what I'm going to call it uh, in in Last Epoch. Sorry, uh, Last Epoch. Path of Exile Two is is a huge W. I don't play archers. I don't even really like to play the mage classes. Sometimes I'll do if I'm like you know have, I've tried every single other type of class archetype. I usually only play like the burly melee sweaty hairy men. But uh, this it, with this type of guy, this looks great. Like giving me a grenade launcher is a, and a shotgun is a surefire way to make me want to play a range class. These are the two types of things I would want on a range. The only thing that would make this better is a flamethrower. Uh, but yeah, everything else is great. Like I'm loving this. I want to actually play this class. Far in a hole. <laughs> These grenades take a while to explode, so it's a good idea to pair them with some kind of crowd control, like permafrost burst shot. Yep. Freeze them and then grenade them. This is a great idea. And also, I can see there is no ammo system whatsoever. You don't need to buy bolts. You don't need to buy grenades or whatever. You just, you just attach it and you just shoot them. This looks hilarious. I also love that it just sounds like a grenade launcher. Boop. It has the We have other sound. grenades too, though. This attachment is a flash grenade. It does barely any damage, Ooh, but it, it does blinds a huge them? amount of stun. Oh, it can dude. be a great opener before you run into combat. That's cool. Surprise! That is cool. They even added flashbangs into the game. Now, here's another attachment. Okay. An oil grenade. Ooh. Firing one of these grenades coats the ground and nearby enemies in oil. oil and then you can combo down, with fire. So another useful crowd control mechanic. That's cool. That is cool. Tell me it explodes when you light on fire. Now, another thing that oil can do is be set on fire. Any burning go. enemy or explosion will ignite the oil. There you go. Extra burning damage. POE is looking better. This is POE 2. This is a sequel. Uh, One of the problems. By the way, this game comes out in literally Dragnarg. This game comes out in a month and a half. Problems with burst shot crossbows is that each pellet doesn't do much damage individually. This means that if enemies have armor, mm -hmm. then it will be very effective preventing that damage. Yeah. But thankfully, you can equip an additional crossbow in your second weapon set to deal with the weaknesses of your Ooh. primary weapon. Oh, that's cool. Okay. This is a rapid shot crossbow. Rapid shot is great for closing on enemies because you can shoot while running. In Path of Exile 2, we now have the ability to allow you to use some skills while moving. Oh, Being man. able to create skills like this opens up a lot of new design space and allows us oh, to- Oh, dude, he just got clomped. Oh my god, dude. ...really increase the pace of combat. This is hilarious. The armor-piercing version of Rapid Shot slowly erodes- And also, it's piercing through, which I love. ...monster's armor. Once the armor is fully broken, you can easily switch back to burst shot to deal with the To much do flesh damage. damage, yeah. This makes sense. This just makes sense. Very intuitive, just like a shooter. Like, this is like, uh, you know, like a, a shooter RPG or whatever. This is crazy. 
the fact that they did this, Being I love this. Being able to this. run while shooting with rapid shot is also great for when you want to perform a fighting retreat. Reload. Yep. Using I think this is so cool. With rapid shot is also useful if you need to retreat. When you shoot the ground, it creates oh, ice crystals. Oh, that is so cool. Dude, you're creating a path of frost. And it like slows and does damage like a little trap almost. If you draw monsters back over these crystals, they explode, chilling the monsters. That's so it's great cool, if you want man. To set up a safe zone before pulling the next pack. Oh my god. It's like, almost like Caltrops. Slowing enemies down can come in handy if you want to use the incendiary version. And it, as you can see, he's shooting the ground by clicking down on the ground while he's hitting the fire button. So he's moving with WASD, he's clicking the ground to target and shooting the ground. A rapid shot. Yeah. Using this skill requires that you charge up a little Welcome, bit. Welcome, Hammer Shark. Good to see you. But as it continues to heat up, it'll <clears throat> do more and more damage. That's cool. Okay. So pr preparation ability. It has a really large clip size, so you can just keep firing and firing with it. But the other really useful feature is that when the crossbow is heated up, it adds extra fire damage to any grenade that you launch. They really thought about the synergies, man. This is so cool. Hammer Shark, there's a bunch, dude. Yeah, uh, hit the hit the bell on the YouTube video so you can find out. This looks insane. Now I've been using explosive grenades here, but it will work equally as well with flash or oil grenades too. If you use it with oil grenades, the Oh, the oil will catch fire immediately? Perfect. Then I don't have to do two things. I can just use just the oil grenade. Perfect. Oil will catch fire immediately. Big brain. Predicting shots, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Another crossbow type that you can find is power shot. Okay, charge this up, I'm assuming. This one works just like a classic sniper rifle. Okay. Use it with armor-piercing ammo, and it will penetrate armor on targets. So it's a good idea to use when- It is not a charge-up shot. It's just a long-range one. It's just like one strong shot. That's cool, okay. Something's really tough. Back down or die! Now this skill has another interesting interaction with armor break. Okay. If an enemy has its armor broken, then your power shot hits a weak spot and does a huge amount of single target damage. Ooh, with a bunch of extra okay. stun for good measure. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Bullseye. Bullseye. Um, Osmodius, their big plan is to massively debloat the game. Correct. Absolutely. They, they, they had a few, like, principles that they wanted to cover with Path of Exile 2. One of them was to deep load the game. One of them was to make the game work a lot slower. So, as you can see, he's not jumping around the map at, like, 50 miles per second, Osmodius. Um, and, like, he has, like, everything is hitting hard. Uh, another, another principle is that every elite matters. So every elite will have, like, special abilities and stuff, which is pretty cool. And then, um, also... Also, they made melee actually not dog shit. They actually started to create Path of Exile 2 because they were trying to revamp melee. And they were like, wow, in order to really make this work, we have just have to make a new game. And so they did. And that's why they made Path of Exile 2. Literally to fix melee. So yeah. Season mechanics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, this is starting from the beginning. So I don't know how they're going to do that going forward. Osmodius is a good question. But right now, at least the beginning of Path of Exile 2 will be completely debloated. Now, the incendiary version of Power Shot is more like a rocket launcher. It oh my a god, a rocket launcher? Oh, dude, this is so goofy. I love it. This looks great. Yeah, this looks really good. One of the really useful features of this version is that you can explode any grenades that happen to be on the ground. Ooh, so double explosion. I wish he had damage numbers on. 
but that's okay. This combo also works really well with incendiary. They don't. No, no. So Os watch the video when I put it up, Osmodius. Uh, but uh, th this is a crossbow. But every single different attachment on the crossbow is basically mimicking a gun. So we have a shotgun. We have what amounts to a shotgun. What amounts to an assault rifle. What amounts to a sniper. So on and, and a grenade launcher. Very rapid shot. I'm going to charge up the heat on my crossbow, shoot out a bunch of grenades, and then start the fireworks with a power shot. This is really cool. This is really cool. The ice version of power shot creates frost walls at a distance. Ooh, I like that. This is great for crowd controlling monsters and tight passages. Yeah, and they're stuck on it. They had to attack the wall. The wall segments have they're literally attacking the wall first, and you can probably shatter the uh, the ice walls, I'm assuming. Other uses too. If they get destroyed by monsters, then they will explode, doing a small amount of damage. That's cool. The down the line. Now, remember that burst shot combo with frozen enemies we did earlier? Yes. That works with ice walls too. Let's put perfect burst shot back on. So you can put a frost wall and then shotgun the frost wall. Now I can fill up this area with ice walls then shoot them with armor piercing burst shot for a huge amount of damage. Oh my God, dude. This will probably be what I build though. Like right here, frost it up and then blow up my walls. This will probably be how I build. This looks so fun. Oh my god, dude. All right, it's time to face the boss for this area. Let's see how we fare against her with all, all the, the skills bosses are so really far. intricate too, which I love. This is so dope. And it's doing more and more and more damage. Ooh! So loading up the grenades on the ground actually did stack the damage a lot. That's what we just saw there. That's huge. The enemy design for this lady is insane. I love it. This is so cool. This is like some fucking like... This is like from Dark Souls 3. Remember those like big ladies that would have like the uh, the fire and they'd like grab you and like light you on fire and shit? This reminds me of one of those. Did she just cut off her stomach? She's called the matron and she just aborted a baby called the unwanted. This is insane. I love it so much. This is this is peak, man. This is fucking grim dark. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yes. Here we go. Your time has come. And and it's a creepy zombie baby. This is a creepy zombie baby. Oh my god, dude. Rapid fire. We must destroy the child. There's babies everywhere. Oh my god. This is crazy. Children. What the fuck? This is wild. Also, the evade dodge roll is coming in clutch with this class for sure. <laughs> oh my god. I could make a terrible joke right here, but I won't. He, okay, I'll, whatever. He did the late-term abortion. That's what he did. 
post-term abortion right there. Jesus Christ. This is crazy. I love it. This is insane. And the abilities are really combining together really well here. Really, really, really well. He's gonna blow it all up. There you go. One tapped. That was so cool. That was so cool. That's the mercenary. It feels totally different than anything we've made before. Yeah, this is completely different. And Path of Exile too. Bro, Diablo 4 is cooked. Man. Man. Dude, Diablo 4 must be so happy they're releasing the Vessel of Hatred one month before Path of Exile 2. Because as soon as Path of Exile 2 comes out, no, no fucking one is playing Diablo 4, bro. I'm sorry, man. Only the Diablo dads are going to be playing it. That was so cool, man. Let's see what this is. The fact that you can WSD is huge. Yep, devs you rock. WSD is a game changer. Solved the biggest issue with PoE range gameplay with WASD movement. Yep. Everyone is super, super excited about this. The boss commenting. Yeah, the boss being able to talk and everything. That's huge. More strategic gameplay with visual enemy patterns. Absolutely. Uh, crazy the amount of stuff they're adding. This is, yeah, I love this, man. I love this. You can make a full twin stick shooter. I would love that. Dude, twin stick shooters are so fun. There you go. There you go. Let me know what you guys think of the mercenary in the comments below. I, like I said, I don't play range classes. I generally don't like them. Uh, but this actually looks like it's going to change the game here for ARPGs. And you're going to look, you're going to play this and then look at any other ARPG that has a range class. And you'll be like, why can't I do this in those games? That's what this game is going to do. And, and the, the level of impact that that has is pretty immeasurable. I, and I think that's really cool, man. I think that's really cool. Any guy, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are most excited for. I, I want to explode some frost walls with a shotgun, man. That sounds like what I want to do. Yeah. D3 Hunter, but far better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Demon Hunter in D3 was like... Yeah. No, not even close. Not even close. D3 was way too simplistic for me, man. Way too simplistic. I did not like D3 for that reason. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm excited for this, man. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. And again, if you like this video, give a like, give it a sub, share with your friends, and make sure to click that sub button. Make sure to click that bell to uh, get the notifications. And whenever I put up a video, I put up a new video every single morning. And we'll be covering a lot of Path of Exile 2 uh, stuff upcoming. And we cannot wait to play it. Check you out in the next video.